everyone, back again. As I said, uh, I would get into a wee bit more detail on the things that caused uh, the pain in her life. For me it was blaming. Uh, I found it easier to blame than it was to take responsibility. I found it much easier. Everybody I befriended was thinking and behaving the same as me because uh, like attracts like. But I like other people like and were attracted to it. I, I wouldn't befriend people who spoke polite, looked better than me, had a better job than me, had more money than me, had a bigger house than me. Yeah, I was jealous of them. Yeah, I was frightened of them. And I learnt to blame them. It seems I learnt to blame my parents because of the expectations I had of how a mother and a father should behave. Yeah, my picture that I'd created in my mind of how a mother and father should be the same as other people should be. And if everybody would just behave the same as me, and I would always have peace. But life's not like that, as we know. Especially growing up in an environment where there's dysfunction, total dysfunction, and that's what you've learned your whole life. And you come onto a different path, a spiritual path, where it's about freedom, about responsibility, and it's about change. I myself, knowing that I'd been off of drugs and, and alcohol for maybe 10, 12 years, I still didn't have a quality of life because I was continuously blaming other people, blaming my, my upbringing. Parents, school, teachers, churches, social workers, police, anybody that I could blame rather than take responsibility for my own feelings and emotions. And it's feelings and emotions that destroyed me. I didn't know how to deal with them, didn't know how to recognise them. I just kept reacting the exact same way through blame. If you wouldn't have said that to me, then I wouldn't have done that to you. If you wouldn't have done that to me, then I wouldn't have done that to you. And it's all about blame. And through blame, we end up feeling anger and resentment and bitterness towards other people. I, I noticed it when, when I was driving. And I can still react. I'm not sitting here saying I'm an angel. I can still react. But I take my power back within seconds rather than days. Uh, I choose not to hurt today. I choose not to blame anybody today. Every feeling and emotion that arises through me is my responsibility. It's me it's feeling it. And it's, it's me It's having these horrible emotions. Because I've... <coughs> I've chose to blame rather than take responsibility for my own feelings and put myself in a situation, especially dangerous situations when I was younger. Uh, the terrible fear of saying no to other people. Uh, because of my fear of how they would react if I said no, what would they think of me? So I became a, a chronic people pleaser, always pleasing other people uh, because of the fear of them. Not in a fear as in because I was a very angry man and I couldn't get my own way like a child. I'd never grown up, I was still throwing tantrums. Nobody ever told me I didn't have to do that. But, uh, I was being child, he's immature. Because again, people are frightened to say that to us. And it's, it's in the way you see it. I can still <coughs> feel that twinge when people speak to me in a tone and manner that's completely different from the way I would speak to them. The difference is that I have understanding today. I try and understand where that other person is in their life which frees me, it saves me making assumptions and guessing where they are and, and judgments and that's basically what, what my whole life was about was making judgments and projecting my standards onto other people and blaming them because they weren't doing things the way I would do them or thinking like me even in driving when you're driving and getting angry and the person's going too slow in front of you and you're getting really angry or you maybe do a courteous gesture and let them out in front of you uh, and they don't wave or acknowledge that you've been kind to them. And the anger that I used to feel and sometimes chasing people in cars, because that, my expectation was they should wave to me, they should say thank you, because that's what I would do. And today, having no expectations whatsoever in my life has, has given me so much freedom in my life. And I, I try to teach other people that. It was my expectations, self-seeking behaviours, and acceptance, lack of acceptance, that destroyed me. And I've noticed that we working with people for 19 years. I stick to the three simple things. It causes regret. And you notice that the expectations that we put on ourselves and other people, the blame, the seeking approval, self-seeking behaviours, always looking for that pat in the back. Because we don't love ourselves. We don't know how to love ourselves. And we won't accept when we've made mistakes. We're, we're either blaming other people for our hurt and pain and the mistakes that we've made. And how else can we ever learn from these mistakes if we're continually blaming other people, especially family and friends and 
and it becomes in a world you become trapped in this world and it becomes really normal that you've just be, it's easier to blame to sit back and take responsibility and say I'm sorry that was my fault uh, I shouldn't have done that that working in prisons and and, and getting in working with offenders and ex-offenders and it's, it's most of them are in prison and they don't even know why they're in prison it's because they couldn't say no it's because we're always going through our whole life worrying what other people are going to think about us and most people are in prison and, and they haven't got a clue why they're in there they're, they're blaming their friends, they're blaming the police, they're blaming the system and, and that's what I've done I'm not sitting here saying I'm any better than anybody else uh, these videos are, are trying to help people to, to take a look at themselves and find a quality of life that lies within yourself, within the spirit because the power that lies within us is, is phenomenal so what is blame? We learned it. We learned to blame in the home and in the environment with the friends that we befriended. And we could still blame when we lost our job or when we commit a relationship or blaming them. And, and, and I've seen the fear that caused in my life and I took it out in other people. And it was hurtful and destructful to other people's spirit. And I hate blaming the day. I, I, I don't blame at all. I, I take full ownership and responsibility for every feeling, every thought, every emotion and every reaction. And as I said in the earlier video, it's all caused by sight and sound. And how dare you speak to me like that? And how dare you have done that to me? And I wouldn't have done that to you. And you wouldn't have done that. And it's all a continuous blame, 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 blame. And you'll find that people that I work with who are maybe 10, 15 years, 5 years, 20 years off of drugs and alcohol. And they haven't a quality of life. Because we're still living in the past and blaming other people places, things and situations that happened in our past which is no power over us, the past is no power only when we dwell in the past we give our power away and we start to get into dwelling and each day and this can last for years and years and years you're still holding on to resentment and blaming that other person for where you are in your life today and relationships, coming out of relationships the anger, the resentment because you're still blaming that person for how you feel in this present moment and that could have happened years and years ago and it's so destructive to the soul and, and we take it out in other people and we have no quality of life and I have lost so many friends and many people that I know have been a long term clean and sober uh, and good quality of life and have ended up taking their own lives because of the pain because nobody's ever t said to them you don't have to do that you don't really have to do that you learn to do that and then we'll try and find a different way of taking responsibility and, and stop blaming. Yes, a lot of us have been abused, but we don't have to be victims in the present. Uh, what happened in the past, it doesn't need to harm us in the present. It's the same way we have no power over the future. And most people who have been abused still are victims today because nobody has ever taught them that what happened then doesn't have to have an effect on you now, in this present moment, in the now, which has to be practised. As I mentioned, like picking up a musical instrument, if you want to play it and you want to get good at it, you have to practice it. And it's the same with change and it's the same with stopping blaming and taking responsibility. If you're putting yourself into dangerous situations, then there's going to be consequences. And, and we have to be aware of the consequences. Sometimes greed, ignorance, uh, materialism uh, can be the main values that we, we put first before our own spiritual spirituality and our own spiritual values and ethics. And uh, some people get, tend to get confused with spirituality and religion, which is completely different. Uh, I believe I'm, I'm a spiritual person. There's nothing wrong with religion, and it's helped a lot of people. For me, I choose spirituality uh, because I found such a, a freedom. Uh, the God that I was raised with as a child that I also blamed. It was his fault, my expectations that I had of the God of my understanding. He should be doing this for me and he should be doing that for me. And other people are saying, hey, God will give you this and just hand over to God and God will do this and God will do that. And that's not my experience at all. I am spirit and I was given a life. And it's my choice and the choices that I make that's going to give me the freedom and, and the good feelings and emotions that I chased and searched for. But I chased and searched for them out with myself. And I couldn't find the peace and happiness because I kept blaming. I kept going into my past and, and looking at people that I believed had hurt me. Nobody had hurt me. It was my standards and my expectations that hurt me. And when I finally came to that realisation that I cannot blame anybody anymore, nobody, for how I feel in this present moment, the here and now,
But that is the most important thing in my life, is this moment, this now. And when I go into that past again, I forgive everybody. I forgave my dad who I love dearly, he's not with me anymore in flesh, but he's here in spirit. And, and other people that I believed had wronged me. And being able to come through that process, yes, I had to be through the anger, the resentment, the bitterness, the hurt, the pain, before I came to the acceptance and, and the forgiveness. And it's different stages. I don't expect anybody just to forgive and stop blaming right away. Because you're, the way you've been thinking and the, the way you've been reacting, you've been doing it for a long, long time. And it does take time. But each day you will get stronger the more you practice, uh, the more you start really believing in yourself and the more you desire to want it, to stop blaming and using your past as, a, as an excuse for the hurt and pain you're feeling in the moment, in the now. What happened in the past happened. It makes us stronger people for the future. And it lifts your spirit and it lifts people round about you. You become a great example to other people because we've stopped blaming. It's nobody's fault anymore for how we feel. And even when you go back to hearing a name, somebody that you believed hurt you, you, you <clears throat> as soon as you hear that name, or maybe a song or, or something, it, it, it'll take you right back. You'll go back into that feeling, that horrible feeling, and, and blaming that person for how you feel in the present. Something that happened a year, six months, a month, ten years ago. Uh, and it's difficult, it's difficult to forgive, believe me. Uh, it took me a long time to forgive people I believed to wrong me. Uh, for them being true to their self and the resentment I picked up towards people because they said no to me and blaming them again for how I felt because they were being true to themselves and said, no, I can't give you that, Jerry. I can't do that for you just now. I'll maybe do that. Can you help me with this? No. And, and I would get so angry and upset. So I do understand how difficult it is. But please believe me, responsibility is the most important thing in your recovery. If you're recovering from any illness eh, or fears, You'll see that taking responsibility for that instead of blaming will set you free. Please believe me in that. And it's just being able to recognise when you have that feeling that the spirit will show you because your body is a chain reaction. What you see and what you hear and what you tell yourself you will react to. And the body gives you that twinge. The spirit is letting you know that your mind has changed. Your thought pattern has changed. You went into the past or into the future. You're blaming, you're projecting. And your body's showing you, the spirit is showing you, that's why you have these feelings in the body. What else causes that? It's your thoughts. Nobody's round about you when you're hurting. Ask yourself the next time when you're hurting and look round about you and you'll see there's nobody there. You're choosing to hurt because nobody says to you, stop blaming and start changing. Change your, your whole thought process, your mindset. Which is difficult, but as I said in the earlier video, listening to audio CDs, going on YouTube, Picking up spiritual books, personal development books, going to speak to other people, spiritual teachers. Uh, I always go for guidance and direction. Uh, I've found that that's where my humility lay, was admitting that I was wrong and, and getting there and asking for help and getting a bit of humility into my life instead of blaming. But it will come, and it comes through practice. When you feel that trigger in your stomach, in your body, that's the, the mind and the spirit saying to you, stop what you're doing, stop what you're doing and recognise that your thoughts are causing the pain in your body and in your spirit. And when you can catch that, it's a lot of people will say prayer, just pray, pray, pray. Yeah, prayer's great. The same as going for Reiki and acupuncture and, and, and the stones and all these things, but it's just a quick fix because you will feel good when you're praying. But at the end of the day, what we're doing is we're asking our power to take everything away from us. And that power lies within us and we can take that away ourselves and then we start to blame that power, whether it be it, God, it, whatever, he, she, it, whatever power you believe in or if you don't believe in that power, we still have to learn to take responsibility for what's going on in our body and in our mind because there's nobody around about us hurting us. We, we're really good at doing that ourselves. We are our biggest judges, condemn ourselves, criticise ourselves. And then we're getting into resentment and bitterness and horrible thoughts towards another soul and what goes around comes around. And that's how I had to start stop blaming and taking responsibility for me, for this is my life. And every day I've got left in my life I try to live positively with loving and caring thoughts towards myself and compassion towards other people through loving and understanding myself and loving and understanding other people. I feel good about myself. 
So I'll come back to you again. Uh, I hope this wee chat has uh, helped maybe give you some identification because responsibility is what sets us free and taking ownership for every single thought, every emotion, every feeling and every reaction. And your awareness will come sky high when you start on this path. A whole new path, good things will be attracted to you because of the law of attraction. When the spirit see you starting to change, they will help you. Different people will come into to your life. Situations will change, your circumstances will change because we've stopped blaming what's going on in our life and the circumstances for our, <coughs> for our feelings just now. And it's like we can't blame anybody anymore for what's going on in our life in the here and now. So thank you very much and I'll speak to you all soon. Thank you. Bye.